manufacturers are being driven to automate their processes to reduce the overall overhead that they have in projects, when they can get stuff out faster and more effectively uh, with the same type of resources, they can definitely speed up their time to market. Some of the pitfalls that can sidetrack a design automation project are going off scope or going too far beyond the initial intent of what you're trying to do because it will not get the project done any faster, it will increase the cost of your project, and in the end you may not get the result you really wanted. To avoid those pitfalls, you need to have a focused strategy for what you want to accomplish, a unique set of goals that is obtainable at the end of your project. The most successful design automation projects have an internal resource that has carnal knowledge of your product and has a great understanding of where the vision of the design process needs to be in order for it to be a success. When you have that in place, that internal resource can become a leader of the project and help guide it in the right direction in case it does go off the rails. The best hybrid team to have in place is not only your internal resources, but also our resources to help guide the project and transfer information back and forth between the team. When an implementation is actually happening, there's a lot of communication that goes on up front to make sure that the vision is maintained and that all the information is being transferred effectively. Some implementations take anywhere from two weeks to six months. On the long projects, it's important to have this hybrid team in place to make sure the success of a project is maintained and the vision stays on course.